Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm proud to be the son of pig farmers, the son-in-law of dairy farmers, and I simply cannot let the statement stand that there's some kind of systemic abuse of animals on Canadian farms. That's simply not the case. I'm very proud of the 5,600 uh, farmers in my riding. We have more than half a million pigs, more than 50,000 cattle. Uh, they are not being abused. They are not subject to uh, undue uh, abuse by, by farmers. I'm proud of our Canadian farm families. I'm proud of the work they do. And I think it's a, a slap in the face to the hardworking farm families to imply even an implicit statement that there's abuse going on in these farms at, at any uh, standard rate. It's simply not happening. And I think that's a, it's a slap in our face, in the face of so many farm families. My question to uh, Dr. Cochram. Uh, in your comments, you, you mentioned that loading and unloading reduce, er, increases the, uh, the stress and the um, opportunity for harm and pain to animals. Yet you're at the same time uh, advocating a decrease in the uh, time inter or a de decrease in the amount of time that an animal can be on this truck, thereby increasing the number of times that a animal is going to be unloaded and reloaded. How do you justify that uh, that statement? Where on the one hand you're saying it, it increases the risk, another time you're saying we should have more loading and unloading. Yeah, you find transportation is a complicated issue, and you have to look to see where the the largest risks are. The, the solution to journey times is to improve or optimize the quality of the journey and, and the, the management of the animals before and after the journey. So, that, so there's less need to put the emphasis on the journey times. As been mentioned in Europe, the way that they manage these long distance transport and feed and water intervals is the legal requirement to have specialized vehicles that enable the animals to be fed, watered and rested on the vehicle. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Leader.